what is up guys the LA Gamer here and today I am bringing you guys episode 11 of my Madden NFL 17 fantasy draft franchise now in today's episode we are going up against the New Orleans Saints who are 8 and 2 on the season now I want to emphasize we are 8 and 2 as well uh, we're having a very very good season um, so this will probably be the like the most competitive game we have yet uh, two A and two teams going at it obviously both of us trying to vie out for the top NFC spot uh, for the playoffs because obviously we're, we're coming pretty close so um, obviously, if you guys only watch Madden on my channel, um, this is kind of my welcome back video because uh, obviously there's a few months um, that I wasn't posting. For those of you who are curious why that was the case, I did post a video on my channel called Channel Update. For those of you who are curious, uh, it's right up there. It'll tell you. I'm pretty sure everything you need to know about why I wasn't posting and everything that happens there. So um, any questions you possibly have, I highly recommend you guys go over and check out that video. Uh, and then uh, if you don't want to watch that and you just want to know what's going on with the series, um, I have every intention of at least finishing the season if we win a Super Bowl, or at least if we get close. Um, and then once we get there, I'll kind of make a judgment on if I should continue with this series or start a new fantasy draft or something along those lines. I'll just kind of see how uh, how much support, how much love this gets. And also, um, depending on your guys' comments, telling me if you want to see a, a different type of fantasy draft and stuff. Obviously, there's a few episodes from now at least. Um, but until we have to worry about this, but I figure it's one of those things that I should at least put out in the open for those of you who are curious um, just about what's going on. So either way, we're starting off this game against the New Orleans Saints. You see, we are returning this ball. Uh, the biggest thing that I don't like that it's been so long since I've uh, recorded is that I'm not fully aware of who my team has. Like, that's one of those things that I'm going to have to get used to. Uh, I know that we do have Adrian Peterson here in the backfield. I'm pretty sure he had a very good game in the last episode because uh, I was looking closely at some previous box scores. and looks like he got three touchdowns in the last game. It's kind of the cool thing about it being so long since I've last played this too is that uh, it's really kind of interesting seeing... Um, Reseeing all the stat lines that I put up because I kind of forgot how I played in this uh, So it was definitely kind of an interesting Experience coming back here uh, trying to come back and uh, and trying to refresh myself with this team is right here Look at McAfee putting this punt right there on the one-yard line I mean you gotta you gotta be impressed by that. That's not even his best punt of the day I don't believe he has like three phenomenal punts That's the only one I actually take the time to show because uh, the other ones aren't really influential to the, the kind of the flow of the game um, but McAfee is definitely a guy that's just an absolute monster. I want to recommend that if you guys um, are drafting, draft Pat McAfee as your punter. Because it's like, I didn't even think I've been punting it well. But it just seems like he naturally lands it within five yards of the end zone every single time. It's uh, it's definitely a, a nice commodity to have whenever you're in a situation where you need to uh, really, really plug him up in the backfield. So, either way, we're going to get the ball back here on offense all the way at midfield. Perfectly at midfield to be exact. We're at the 50-yard line. Uh, we're going to toss it over the middle to our man, Rob Gronkowski, who in real life has been diagnosed out for more than likely the rest of the season. I believe he suffered a back injury. I think he had back surgery. Um, and then, of course, uh, Eric Berry, or not Eric Berry, my bad, uh, Earl Thomas suffered an injury, a broken leg. So I want to comment, or I want you guys to comment real quick. What do you guys think about all these major injuries to major players going on, on in the NFL? What do you think they can do to fix it? Uh, either way, Robert Gronkowski is going to come over here on the right side of the field, get a receiving touchdown to put us up 7-0 to zero, uh, towards the end of the first quarter here. So, obviously, the uh, Saints... Trying to come back here, trying to do whatever they can on the offensive end of the ball. I think primarily looking at the Saints team, I th I just want to believe that they're probably uh, going to focus on the offense more than anything. I believe that's probably the highlight of their squad. They got Drew Brees, they got Jamal Charles. Um, I don't remember exactly who the receivers are, but I do know they have a very, very good squad. So we're going to come back out here. You see, we're going to find that little hole up the middle with Adrian Peterson, plug that in for about eight or nine yards. And we're going to once again hand him the ball. However, he's going to get plugged up in the backfield right here on third down. And with fourth and one, obviously... Temptation made me want to go for it, uh, but obviously the most efficient and most reasonable option was just to take the field goal, even though it was a long one, even though the field position would have worked in my favor regardless. I wanted to take that two possession lead, so that's what we end up doing. We do end up making that field goal, and right here, I only showed this clip because Madden needs to fix this. In real life, you will never see someone try to pick up a fumble and just start smacking the ground. It doesn't happen. Like, pick up the fumble. I don't know why that's a Madden thing. But they never pick up the fumbles. Or, I mean, at least, they never pick up the fumbles until this play right here. Because we pop him over the middle, and we're going to pick up that fumble at the three-yard line. But I want to emphasize, even on that fumble recovery, it still did not look very smooth. It still looked like 20 people jumped on top of the ball, and none of them managed to pull it down. Now, I don't even need to talk about this issue, because if you've played Madden, you know that's an issue. Like, you've dealt with it before. And I don't even care if it benefits me or not. If you fumble the ball, and you have four players that are standing right around it, one of them is going to pick it up. They're not going to play patty cake on the floor. It's just it's just common sense. They're professional athletes. They know how to pick up a football. 
Either way, I just had to go on a rain right there because when it happened, I, I actually lost my shit for a, for a split second. Like, I was like, are you kidding me? But, um, obviously, we, we don't really get much going, so the Saints are going to come back down and try to get um, some points on this possession. They will be successful in doing that as right as that first half is starting to wind down. Uh, you see they're going to put a few points on the board to only be down 10 to 3. So, obviously... Um, it gets me a little bit concerned. Uh, obviously, we're both A and two teams, so I have to go with the assumption that this team is very talented and they know how to win games, obviously. So, uh, bringing them back within a possession makes me a little bit uncomfortable. So, we're going to move down the field here, do whatever we can to get a few more points on the board and do whatever we can to uh, turn this back into a two-possession game. So, right here, I throw a very risky pass, one that probably should not have been completed, one that definitely looked like it was going to get intercepted. But luckily, uh, Madden gods were working in my favor on that one. As right here, we once again struck off a tackler on second down. We're going to bring it down to about third and three or so. Uh, and so we're going to do whatever we can to try to get this first down. So you see right here, uh, moving down a little bit more, we're at third and eight. We're basically at third and goal because we are the yard line. You see I toss over the middle. This more or less could have been a, a touchdown play, but uh, I really did not run a very good play. It probably wasn't even a, a smart pass to throw. Uh, so luckily that ball was not intercepted. So we're going to settle here for the field goal. Uh, obviously this is basically just a chip shot from our kicker. So he's obviously not going to struggle with that one. And we're going to have a 10 point lead here with about a quarter left to play. So... With 7 minutes and 50 seconds left, obviously, uh, we're going to try to keep them off the board. We're going to see what we can do. Uh, they're going to try working down the field right here. I don't know who they're tied in. I think they had a really talented tight end. I think it was Greg Olsen or something. Um, you see they're utilizing him right there. And then Jamal Charles over the middle to get some extra yards for them. Obviously, it, it just it, it gets kind of complicated here. See, 4th and 6 are going to move over the middle to the other 43-yard line. And this is where I start getting a little bit concerned uh, that they're going to actually pull away and, and get some points on the board. I'm going to have to really start stressing out. Luckily for me, however, we're going to pop one into Jamal Charles, and not there, or not that long after, you see right here, they're going to give it up the middle to Jamal Charles again, and we barely even tap him, but he will drop that ball, and we will recover the ball once again. So, us recovering two fumbles, it's starting to make it sound like my little rant about fumble recoveries in this game, it's starting to make it look like it wasn't uh, legitimate, but like I said, if you've played Madden before, you understand what I mean, that there's way too many situations that a fumble is on the floor. This doesn't happen in any other situation in the game. Just there's like fumbles and everybody looks like they lost their minds. And they just like, it looks like every single player on the field had a mental breakdown. Or they have like a phobia of touching the football. It's it's the weirdest thing. Um, but we do finish with two fumble recoveries out of the three total force fumbles. Uh, and, and obviously that really was the turning point in our game was our defensive our defensive stops. So they got within 40 yards or so of the, the end zone multiple times. But our... Forced fumbles are really what kept them out of it and limited them limited them to three points. So anyways, that's the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please click that like button below. Please comment your opinion of this series and just other ideas that you have for this series. I'm really excited to be back. Uh, and it's just really nice making these videos for you guys once again. And lastly, subscribe if you have not already to stay tuned to this series and other series I got going on my channel. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.